So let's talk about your new movie, Tales from the Hood 3. How was that working on this cult classic comedic horror flick? Uh, you know, it's different in the sense that, um, you know, we outside, like, for example, like shooting something like ballers, there's uh, you play across, you play across other actors. In a horror film, you know, a lot of stuff is reactionary, so you just kind of have to escape in a different place because you have the director saying, you know, scream, run, <laughs> jump, you know, and there's nothing there because a lot of times when people see films, they just see it in post, and so. They see it after all the violins have been added, all the special graphics and everything. Um, but being on set, you know, it's just kind of, it's just kind of, you have to try to escape mentally. Mm -hmm. You know, acting is reacting. Right. And so, I mean, also I hope the people dig it, man, you know, and uh, it'd be cool, but it was, it was a great experience. I can't complain, I'm not complaining. Um, as a buddy of mine said, I'm not complaining, I'm just explaining mm -hmm. the process. So um, it, it's, it's all right, man. It's, it's not too bad. So without giving away too many spoilers for those who are going to see the movie or haven't seen it yet, um, tell us a little bit about just the mindset of your character, David. Um, David is a selfish kind of guy, which is about making the progressive uh, money moves. And uh, in this particular process, he's trying to, he owns some, he's a part of, he's running some property. He's trying to get some tenants to move out so that he can build a larger complex uh, to make a more, a, a bigger financial gain and things go terribly wrong. And so I think if anything, when people, after watching this, especially in, a, in our, the way our society is now, People can either use this time to be very giving or very selfish. 